Hey guys, Mrs. Danny here. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, it's a new year, yay! And with a new year, we're starting a new unit. We're now in unit three. And we're gonna start, before I start the lesson though, uh, there's a bunch of leaders. I've been getting messages from y'all, cool. Um, I have something at the end of this video for you, some resources I thought y'all might could use. So stay tuned at the very end and I'll go through them with you. Clubbers though, oh, I I've missed you guys. I hope your year has started off good. Um, we are in 3.1 tonight. As I said, we are starting a new unit. And we're going to be discussing about Jesus. This whole unit is about Jesus. Before we begin, though, actually, I want to play a game with you. This is called Who I Am. Now, I'm going to tell, give you some clues. And you're going to tell me who this person is. So I'm going to tell you what they wear, what they do, or what they say. And you've got to figure out who I'm talking about. So let's start off. Uh, this person normally wears darker colors. Uh, they have a badge, they carry a gun and handcuffs, and many times, and they'll, they'll say, they, many times they'll ask you if you need help with something. They also protect us from bad guys. Pretty easy. Talking about a policeman. Okay, here's another one. Now, this person ha usually wears a lab coat or scrubs, you know, like you see at the hospital. And many times they have a stethoscope with them and they help heal people. And they'll usually come in and go, how are you feeling today? Doctor. Okay, now this one's a hard one. This person hmm, normally will have tools, like a tool belt on. And a lot of times they'll be carrying a clipboard with paper and writing stuff. And they fix things. And many times they'll ask, what's broken? <laughs> Contractor or electrician, plumber. Yeah, that one's a little harder. Okay, now here's the last one. This person normally wears a helmet to protect their head. And they, they usually, they, they, they're trying to get a ball and get it down a field. Football, yay, Clemson. Yeah, my blood runs orange, guys, sorry. So <laughs> that's a football player. So many times, you know, we can tell a person's job by what they're wearing, what they do, what they say. You know, when, when Jesus came to earth, he made it really easy for people to tell he was God because he did things only God could do and he knew things only God could know. So, you see, Jesus is both fully God, fully God and fully man, and we'll discuss fully man in the next lesson. But he's both God and the Son of God. I know. You see, God exists in three what we call persons, and this is how we can understand it. There's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God exists in three persons. Now, each person is fully God, and has a special job to do. Now, this is really hard on us for, for people to understand because in our little finite minds, we can't really comprehend this. Now, the best way I've come up with explaining this in all the years I've been doing this is with water. And if, by the way, if you know of a better way to explain it, message me. Okay, so first is, here is a glass of water. Water's existing in liquid form. It's good water, okay? Now, we also have ice, water in, ooh, it's cold, <laughs> duh, <laughs> ice in water. This is water in solid form. Now, we also, and I can't show it, but we have water vapor in the air in gas form. So we have water in three forms, liquid, solid, and gas. However, all three of those are still water. And in the same way, God the Father, God the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, are all God. And Jesus even said, you know, your memory verse was John 10, 30. I and my Father 
are one. Now, when God was on earth, he also did many things that only God could do. He d performed many miracles. Now, I think your, your handbook has a really good definition of miracle. Miracle is an amazing act that can only be done with the power of, by the power of God. So, Jesus did many miracles. He healed the sick. He brought the dead back to life. He, oh goodness, he controlled the weather. We could go on and on and on. There were many, many miracles. But Jesus was able to do that because he had the power. Now, let me use this as an example. Most of us in Florida know what this is. It's an orange. Now, when an orange is growing on a tree and it becomes nice and ripe and it detaches from the tree, what happens? It falls to the ground. Now, what is the law that we use to describe why something falls? The law of gravity. Now, let me ask you something. If I throw this in the air and catch it, I've caught it. Have I broken the law of gravity? No. I've just exerted more power over the orange than gravity has. And in the same way, Jesus has much more power over everything. I mean, he was there. He was the one who created everything. Now, now, now wait, Miss Danny, are you saying that Jesus was there at creation? Yes. Colossians 1, 16, 17. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and, in, and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. So you see, Jesus was always there. Jesus has always been. He's fully God. He is without sin. And see, this is really why he's the only perfect payment for our sin. What is the, we've gone through this. What is the punishment for sin? It's death. But see, Jesus willingly chose to die on the cross to, to take the punishment for our sins. He is to be the, he was the perfect payment for our sins because he loves us. He loves you. He loves me. He even loves those who don't love him, who refuse to believe in him. He still loves them. He did all this out of love for us. Second Corinthians 5.21 For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Here's the thing, guys. You need only to accept that. That's it. That's all God asks of you, to accept his gift, to accept his love. You don't have to pray a certain amount. Of, it's nice to pray, don't get me wrong. You don't have to pray a certain amount of days or, or towards a certain city. You don't have to go on certain mission trips. You don't have... All you need to do is accept that gift. God's love. That's all there is to it. Now, next week, of course, we'll be talking in Lesson 3.2 about how God is fully man. Uh, real quick announcements. January 20th is glow in the dark night. Uh, we have a lot of students who are turning to the school and a lot who are coming back to Awana. Um, it, it, don't worry, I'm still going to keep doing these videos as long as there's a need. I will, even if there's one clubber, I will keep doing these videos. However, if you are coming back, uh, just know that January 20th is glow in the dark night. We do that every year. And now January 27th, there is no Awana because we have revival. So there'll be no video as well. I'll try to send out an email reminder. Okay. And that's all I have for you tonight. And I love you guys. And I, please keep up with your handbook and your sections, please. And be sure to be doing those silver. Those silvers are easy and a great Bible study. Anyway, I love you guys. And I will see you later. Now, leaders, I have something for you. Uh, first off, especially if you're, you're, you're teaching, um, I wanted to suggest to you Faith on Trial. This is one of the varsity, varsity, you can tell how long I've been in Awana, journey, Bible, you speak all varsity. This is one of the uh, journey Bible studies. I cannot suggest this enough, especially with this unit, I would suggest doing lessons um, three and four. Actually, I would suggest all of them. This is a, this has got some really great information. As a matter of fact, I've done whole council time messages 
several for TNT and for Trek out of this book alone. So I highly suggest you do that. Also, many leaders I'm finding out do not know about the new Awana website, Awana Plus. I'm going to put up the website. I'm going to edit it in here somewhere. Um, be sure to look at that. They have the, the parents' pages. They have all kinds of information, uh, uh, teaching material. They also have the videos where you can link. You can watch or link to YouTube really wonderfully done. Awana has really gone above and beyond again, giving us the resources we need. So be sure to check that out and y'all take care and I'll see you later. Bye.